today we have a special book. It's called Bury the Movie. It's actually called Bury the Movie. It's called. It's called It's Time for a Serious Bear Talk. And we're gonna read it. Because people tell me not to. Him. Bear is not a role model. Bear does not claim to be. Bear does not try to be. And Bear doesn't want to be. I have the same thing on two, twice in two pages. Maybe it wasn't so much that Bear was trying to live up to it. Perhaps Bear thought Bear could, and Bear thought Bear was supposed to, so Bear gave it his best shot. It's fine, Bear can admit it. Back in his adolescence, Bear was more amiable, bubbly, and on light, humid days, maybe even fluency. Bear was role model material and then some. Fast forward a few years, Bear has grown up a bit, emphasis on a bit. Bear might not be any wiser, but Bear likes to think Makes you think Bear is more honest. With the growing Bear has done, Bear realized that to attempt to live up to the idea of being a role model is to seat, is to set himself up for a foregone failure. Sure, Bear has made some mistakes, but even if Bear hadn't, people would have found invisible ones. The world is seemingly most keen on judgment and negativity, despite all the hearts and smiley emoticons. To remove Bear from the role model battle, the falsified standard set by the bubblegum industry is in Bear's eyes to remove Bear from the counterintuitive battle of attempting to be something perfect while being glaringly aware of Bear's own perfection, imperfections. Sure, Bear still loves his teddy bears. Bear still loves the heart emoji, the white and the pink box is his favorite, and Bear still has a soft spot for American Girl dolls. Bear still loves a cute dress, a good pop song, and a vanilla scented candle, but these things don't define Bear or determine that Bear is any kind of role model. What defines a person as a role model is the way they live their life. And no offense, but none of you know how Bear lives his life. Now before you start thinking Bear is some sort of derelict that leads a life of crime, let me clarify. Bear is proud of the way Bear lives his life. Bear is proud of his choices. Bear is proud that no one could call Bear fake or say Bear doesn't stand up for himself. Bear is proud that his friends and family would say that Bear is a good person. But in order to be thought of as a real, true role model, Bear believes you have to know a person and their actions, inside and out. Calling a celebrity a role model is like calling a stranger a role model. The knowledge you have of a celebrity is no more than a character drawn by media tastemakers specializing in selling you an image if you're, you're dying to buy. It's good to have heroes, but you have to look for them in the right places. They say don't look for true love in a bar, while well, Bear says don't look for role models on screens. For those of you who consider Bear a role model, Bear hopes you don't read this and cringe. Bear appreciates you. Bear appreciates you so much. Bear appreciates that you believe in Bear, support Bear, and in some way hope to live your life like Bear. Oh, we skip the page. But please, Bear encourages you to find role models in people around you, the people in your everyday life, the people that are your friends and family. Bear encourages you to base your idea off a role model of someone you of someone you know well enough to see purely, not in the lights, cameras, and actions of Hollywood. It is Sheep, the spokesman of Bear. A round of applause. It's a beautiful, beautiful story, written written by. I don't know because I don't have other books. I didn't write it. Jasper, probably like Don Jasper or something like that. I don't know.